Hey everybody, it's Matt from the house and I'm here with Jason from Burton and he's gonna run us through the free ride board ladder from Burton for the 22-23 season. Let's check these out. Pretty much all the boards in this lineup are gonna be more of like your all mountain boards, but they're more on the free ride side of things. So they're basically for those guys that are probably not riding park. Not that these boards couldn't go in the park, but they're pretty much made more for spending time on the mountain, hitting the groomers, getting into the powder, and just going fast. At $500 on the cartographer, this was a new board last year and a uh, pretty big success on this thing, right? Yeah, um, definitely a lot of value in this board. I and mean, the cartographer really kind of is probably one of the most versatile boards in this in this lineup. Really cool graphics on it this year, just super kind of simple. You got some hits to the core. Triax glass still, but then uh, still a centered base. So a ton of value in this board. The overall ride of this board, kind of on the softer to kind of medium as far as the flex. It is the directional camber on it. So it does have, you know, camber through the middle of the board, but then it does have five millimeters of that balanced free ride. So the, the five millimeters goes past the upturn. So when you're on hard pack, the contact points, you know, it's very neutral, but then once you really lay the board over, get into deeper snow, that's where that, that taper really kicks in. Yeah, so this board is pretty cool because it's basically for that, you know, maybe that intermediate rider who has just learned how to snowboard into those advanced riders who basically just want to go out and they're starting to ride faster and they want to lay down some carves or again for those advanced riders who just want that nice, easy, easy feel. All right, and then at 560, we've got the first cut. So this is one of the seasonal family tree boards this year. Definitely for that guy that likes to charge hard. And then for that uh, couple extra bucks, what are we getting on this one? So you get into this, you get the center WFO base. So a little little faster, a little more durable base, but uh, kind of like you said before, this is kind of a little bit more on that uh, that advanced kind of big mountain rider. So this is a pretty stiff board. It's gonna hold well at higher speeds, you know, maybe for that heavier, more aggressive rider. Made for those, you know, big steep lines, you know, deep chundery snow, you know, like to go fast and charge groomers, you know, the first cut will, will do well there. Not just a big mountain board, it, it does everything pretty well. Okay, and then a similar price to the first cut, we have the Skeleton Key, which has been in the lineup for a long, long time, and you really like this board, don't you? That, yeah, it's been one of my favorite boards the past couple of years. Definitely don't let the shape fool you. This thing, this thing rides really well switch. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely super versatile. Again, having that 10 millimeters of taper, uh, but again, it's past the upturn, so the contact points, you know, this thing rides switch really good. It's got the little notched out tail, definitely, you know, very directional in shape, but um, it's nothing, it's about, you know, kind of a mid flex. It's nothing crazy stiff, but still holds a really good edge, just turns well, centered WFO base. So basically this thing, when you get it on the snow, everything that's touching the snow is actually a lot closer to centered up than you would think. The, mm -hmm. the lack of tail and the extra nose is all beyond that contact point. So it does have a completely different feel when you get it off of the flat snow into the deep snow and that's all for the better. Okay, and then coming in at $610, we have the flight attendant, which is probably the longest running board in this kind of series of boards, these all mountain free ride boards, right? Yeah, this one started in the family tree years ago, but it has become, you know, one of our best all around all mountain free ride boards. Yeah. Um, but it definitely is a little bit more on the aggressive side. So this one definitely is, you know, a lot stiffer than, you know, something like a skeleton key would be. It's definitely a lot beefier through the middle of the board. It is that triax glass layup. Uh, we do add the carbon I beam, you know, through the middle to give it, you know, some power and uh, some snap, but then, yeah, cinder WFO, but, 10 millimeters of taper, a lot like the skeleton key, but you know, again, the middle, um, it is that balanced free ride. So it's gonna ride switch really well, but it is definitely a lot more uh, aggressive ride than what a skeleton key would be. All right, then coming in at 6.30, we saw the Free Thinker in the All Mountain in the Park series. And then the Deep Thinker is Danny's kind of All Mountain free ride board. So what are we getting in this one compared to the Flight Attendant? So kind of jumping up to this one, uh, you're going to get a little bit more carbon in it. So what that's going to do is drop the weight and give the board a lot more energy. A little more spring and um, pop. And... Yeah, not quite as much taper on this one. So it's only seven mils of taper, but again, past that upturn. So it's still going to ride switch really well, but definitely float well and carve well. If you're looking for that kind of perfect one-two punch, Danny's boards are great. Free thinker for twin, deep thinker for free ride, you got a board finished basically for any condition. All right, then coming at a similar price, we've got the Family Tree 
hometown hero. So arguably the most popular board in this whole video. Again, great all mountain, go anywhere, do anything board. Been seeing a lot of this thing at Natural Selection for sure. Yeah, um, you know, both Zoe and, um, you know, Mark and uh, ben, you know, Ferg, a lot of those, uh, a lot of those riders, they, they kind of gravitate to this board. 12 millimeters of taper, so a little more taper than like what a flight attendant or a skeleton key will have. You know, center WFO, it's got the, you know, carbon highlights. Pretty unique glassing on this one too. It does uh, a little softer between the feet. So you do have really good foot steer with this, but then it does have a little stiffer from underfoot out. So it does turn really well, it turns super easy, but it cuts through that, that chop and chunder, holds a really good edge on hard pack. You just jump on it, it feels right at home, and you just go anywhere and do anything with it. All right, and then also at 660, we have the Territory Manager, which this is basically the seasonal family tree board, whereas the Hometown Hero is that one that you're gonna see every single year. But what is exactly the difference between the Territory Manager versus the Hometown Hero at that exact same price. So I uh, worked with uh, Mark Sollers on this. He was riding the Hometown Hero and he just wanted something a little bit more, like more neutral, more like twin freestyle into things. So it's not a twin. There's no such thing as a directional twin. It doesn't have quite as much taper. It's only eight mils of taper and it's not set back quite as far. And also um, kind of back to more traditional glassing on this board. So it is a little bit stiffer between the bindings. It's more like a custom with just a little bit of taper, you know, past the upturn. So basically what they say is for those guys, you've been riding the Custom for a long time and you've been saying, man, I love the Custom. It rides really, really well, but I wish I had just a tiny bit more float. That's where the Territory Manager comes into play. All right, and then last up, we have the Straight Shooter, which this one's coming in at 840. And kind of like jumping from the Custom to the Custom X, we're getting a lot of those similar things jumping up to the Straight Shooter, but this board can go fast and charge Hard. Yeah, definitely a little bit more on the aggressive all mount free ride side of things, but kind of like you said, it does kind of bump up to that like custom X level construction. So Dragonfly core, carbon highlights, high voltage, so more carbon on the top. But yeah, definitely a stiffer, more aggressive board through the middle, but a really long sweeping nose on this thing. So it's still gonna hold a really good edge, cut through the chunder, but that long sweeping nose is really gonna provide a lot of a lot of float and some deep snow. Really good open arcing turns. So if you like to ride all the big stuff on the mountain, and most importantly, when you're on those groomers, you like to go fast and dig trenches. This is definitely the board for you. All right, well, thanks for checking out the All Mountain Free Ride Ladder of Burton Boards for the 22-23 season. If you got any questions about any of the boards we talked about in this video or any of the Burton Boards that we have at thehouse.com, leave some comments down below. We're on there every single day trying to answer your questions. We wanna make sure we get you into some rad gear, but most importantly, we wanna make sure it's actually gonna fit you and your specific riding style. Also, make sure to like, subscribe, definitely get that notification bell on too so you can find out when all the new videos drop. Grab yourself a new Burton board and get out and ride because any day of riding is a good day of riding.